Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Viego and we are in the mid lane. Viego mid's really, really strong, takes ganks well, roams well, and scales well. We have Conk, Triumph, Alacri, Last Stand, Psychic Win, Unflinching with Attack Speed 80, and Magic Resist. First item rush is gonna be Bork into Divine Sunder. Divine Sunder is gonna give us the girthiness that we need because my team comp is trash and no one on my team is playing frontline, so we kinda have to. We're gonna step up, hit him with a Q. With Second Win and... Uh, our Dorn Blade, we can sustain pretty much all of his poke. You can go for D-Shield. I didn't feel like I needed it in this particular matchup. We just need to make sure we're getting our last hits. Since he can shield himself whenever he steps up like that and uses his Q, it's going to make it hard for us to poke him down. So instead, I'll just push him down early since you can't really AoE push the wave like we can early on. Our Q is AoE and then we... Can apply it to all the minions at once get our w now so his shields on cooldown here we get up the stun into an auto 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 q very nice very good trade for us he lost more hp and we have second wind to heal off he does not have second wind so we'll go ahead and continue to push this wave mages level one level two don't have enough damage to truly kill us he's missing a lot of cs too because he's so focused on uh hitting us here all right very nice we got it pushed need to get a ward down for the master yi we don't really have the reset we can stay as long as we want as long as our w or ease up we can escape any really bad situation Oh, I see he's trying to apply his first strike. He's just going to push out towards me here. Starting to take a little bit of damage. I'll go ahead and use a potion. Can kind of just hide in this. So we'll stall the minions out a bit. Stun auto Q auto. We have a full stack conquer. We'll run this all the way down. Again with the Q auto. Q flash auto. Since we had full stat conquer, he dies there. He didn't anticipate our damage output, so he didn't bother to use his own flash. We don't want to go inside of him. It's not worth it. The turret will kill us. <laughs> you don't dodge turret shots like you used to back in the day, so... Don't get yourself killed trying to go inside of somebody. As tempting as it is to get some HP back and, and all that fun stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and pick up. I'm honestly down for Vampiric. Yeah, Vampiric's fine. We'll get that, this, TP back to lane. As much of our Bork as we can afford. You can, like I said, you can go for D-Shield. Having the Doran's Blade gives you a lot more all-in potential, especially at your level 3. Because we can hit him with a stun, auto, Q, auto, shred him down, stack, comp, step up. Try to get him with a Q there. Not sure where to use that. I'll get my word down. His wave's coming to me. He has more range creeps. And it's closer to his turret, so it reinforces first. My melees will die underneath turret. His laser's on cooldown. He only gets me with the raw Q there. He's not committing to very much. He's not really committing to anything. Auto Q. He has to respect our speed up here. Auto Q. Give us a stun auto. I actually missed my stun there. That was a pretty good trade for him overall. I think I can heal back quickly though with second wind and my refills. Second wind heals you the lower on health you are. So if possible, we want to save our refills for as long as we can. That way our second wind is pumping and thumping. He's being a nuisance. Oh, he's level six. Oh, missed that minion. Here's Master Yi. He's trying to hit me. He's really trying to set up a kill. Hit him with an R. Auto W. Auto Q. Down he goes. Go ahead and go inside to get some HP back. Laser the wave. Auto Q. All R away. E, W, all right. I didn't, I didn't do a very good job of getting away. 
Master Yi has really fast base movement speed, and he also has tier 2, so I was moving 345, and he's probably moving closer to 400 there. Yeah, he's moving 420. Holy fudge muffins, he's moving quick. I don't think we're going to get away any way we try to there. Our art animation is so long that no matter where I put it, he has enough time to hit me with Q, because our art animation is nearly a full second. So he's going to be able to Q onto me to attach. Messy to deal with. Your R is a big slow if you hit an enemy with it. That's why I let in with R there to even get to him. That was the best way for me to kind of start that conflict. Auto into Q. Look at that juicy healing, man. Love to see it. Q auto. I have a lot of space to chase. This can kind of zone him off. Get him with the stun, auto, Q, auto. We'll run past that. Get him with another Q. My stun's about to be up. So if he doesn't respect that. Yeah, what are you going to do, ye? What are you going to do? Uh, he's not going to do a whole lot. I can heal back up off of the Vampiric and D-Blade here. My wave's pushing out, so I don't mind pushing. We can definitely carry this game, even against the Master Yi, as annoying as he'll be. Ah, uh, missed that minion. Wildlands not particularly gankable. We'll look for a roam. I'll go top side against Maokai. Our team's full AD. Our comp is terrible. <laughs> Our comp is extremely weak. Jax is level 5 8 minutes in. That's not good. Get him, miss him with our stun actually. That was a lot of time wasted there. We'll use our E to get back. Nyla having a bit of a pop off moment. Full stack conquer, killing everybody. Waves pushing back to me. I don't have my E though, so I can't really get on top of him too easily. Could pop him with R, just like raw R on his face. He just used his speed up and his shield. Hey friend, R auto W auto Q auto almost had it. This stupid R is walking me down. It moves way too quick, for real. This R moves way too fast. I can W flash on him. Use my refill to heal back up. Crash the wave. We have a big CS advantage on him. Had lots and lots of pressure. We can use speed up here. As long as we're inside of our E, we get the extra attack speed. And then if we stop attacking for a bit, then we get the invisibility. And the speed up. I assume Master Yi's here with the way he's acting. I don't want to back until I can afford Bork. I'll let the first minion pass and then block the rest. You want to let the first minion pass so we can take damage as soon as possible. Get out our E, but not on top of our minions. We don't want him to hit me and the minions at the same time. Poke him with the Q. I'll reset with uh, Bork here once I can afford it. That's when I'll do it. Stun's a pretty short cooldown. He's taking the range minion a bit. Get him the stun auto Q. I'm going to run away because he's used to me full committing there. I'm missing too much health though and I don't have R. So if I full commit there, I might actually die. So instead we just pull back. He uses a lot of mana and a lot of abilities and doesn't really get too much out of it. Q auto will walk away. I can afford Bork now. I'm down to reset. Looks like he's trying to freeze, maybe trying to roam. A little bit of both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Bork's going to turn our trades crazy. Diego has amazing base auto attack range at 200. Super, super high. Most melee auto attack range is 125 to 175. So 200 is a bit unheard of. We can take up some space, get close, poke him with the Q. We want to get him with uh, auto, so I'll just put dump this wave. Got him with another Q. This 
kind of ignoring my minions, <laughs> more or less. You went topside. Can I do anything here? Possibly. It's possible. If they stayed. They're both backing off, though. We need to get boots soon. We'll go for Mercs, most likely. Get him with an R, auto W, auto Q, auto. We'll flash out. We're chilling. Viego is a very balanced champion, man. Bork is an outrageous power spike. Level 6 is, an is outrageous power spike for him. So if you have both, it's lights out for your opponent. Come on. Two turret shots, for real. I'm missing too much CS. I have my EM, my W to escape here. That's exactly what I'm going to have to do. That's good that Jax did that. We get him to stun, auto, Q auto. <laughs> oh, feels bad for him. Well played by the Jax. I can meditate back a lot of my health here. I could walk up and actually probably kill this guy. I'm actually really low here. I have to leave. I gotta back off. I'm missing too much health. He doesn't know if my R's up or not. So he's probably not gonna commit for a plate. We'll go ahead and grab. I'd say tier 2 boots. Yeah, I'll go Mercs. I'm only doing Mercs since they have the Bard Stun, Vera Snare. Victor Stunt, Mao sn double snare, so they also have Maokai slow. Bard slow on his autos. We got a lot of CC we get to interact with. I'm a little bummed I don't get to go for the plated. It's whatever. Hold on one second. Got something weird on me. Auto and E. Hey friend. We get him with the stun, auto Q, auto, auto. We don't even need an R for that. Now that I have tier 2 boots, I can kind of just walk him down. I'll go inside. You get a free R to use whenever you go inside of somebody. Even if your R was already on a cooldown, you get a free one. Hecka spicy. See, I still have another R to use. It makes you wait a few seconds because it doesn't want you to double tap. It's like spam. Mario double jump. <laughs> I could go bot here. They're being kind of crazy. I'll go here in a moment after I get this turret. Oh, it feels bad, Master E. He burned his R for that too. He didn't even get a kill. I kind of didn't want to turn because my Merc Treads do nothing versus him. It made it uh, a little bit risky to turn, I guess. I'll go ahead and E for this. Walk him down. Again with the stun, miss the stun, Q, auto. This Maokai is actually doing pretty well. That was a good juke. Granted, there wasn't that much pressure, but because um, he's like so tanky with armor. Oh, I don't want to miss this cannon. We're moving nearly 500 movement speed there, and we missed the gold from it, but we didn't miss the XP. Run, Jax, run! Why are there a bunch of random people over here? We get him with the Q, so now we get to go inside. That's sick. Get the free R as well. Could probably stop them on drag here if we get some vision. We'll go ahead and R in, pop the E, run this guy down. I still have a free R to use. Get him with the stun, auto Q, auto R. We go inside. Then we'll go inside of him. And my teammates knock him away, so I can't really keep up. We'll use our free R, E, W, auto, Q. Go inside of him, drop the E. Easy peasy. Oh, I can pick up some chimes. That's cool. It's a little neat thing to do. Go and use our R again. Viego mid's turbo cracked, man. Sure, he requires a little bit of patience early on. You're not going to really kill anyone level 1 necessarily. 
or even necessarily level two but at level three you can take such good trades inside of your e movement speed and attack speed steroid that uh it's, just, it's really really good level three is very solid level six he's kind of crazy and then plus bork some things start to really get out of control jace is helping himself to the mid cs zero and seven Victor is really scared of my mist. We're gonna Q auto W auto. Oh, he still had his Q. I thought he already burned it on the Jace when I did that. I'll go for the Varus. I uh, master you. I have Varus flanked here. He only has Eclipse, only a tier one boost. I should be faster. I think I stunned him. Yeah, I stunned him over the wall. That's kind of hilarious. He already burned his R. Q auto W auto. We go inside. All right, we'll get hit him with an R Q auto W. He burned his flash there, so I couldn't really kill him. But I still have my free R to use. I'll heal off of these a little bit. My Bork. Oh, Bard blocked it. He was waiting. <laughs> All right. Anyways. <laughs> what a turd. I kind of need to reset. Okay, there's Yi. I want this cannon. We're at 140 CS. Not bad with how much we've been roaming here in the mid game. Auto W, auto Q. We missed a little bit. I'll go ahead and push wave real quick. I'm already here. We'll use the E attack speed bonus. Auto Q auto. Get this. Ooh, missed the stun. That's rough, man. There it is. Ooh, I just wasted R. Rip. I've been playing Belveth lately, so I'm used to pressing that to go inside of people. And now we're over here. Auto Q, auto W, auto E, auto. Go ahead and R right over. Run this guy down. I'm at the flash for it. I'm okay with that though. Auto Q auto. He doesn't have. Oh, that was a decent auto Q auto. Stun auto Q auto. Dude, he just will not die. I I need my Kraken Slayer if I'm gonna kill that guy. It's the only way. It's the only way. Oh, he's like two full item plus plated. <clears throat> I'm one full, one full item plus Merc. So yeah, we could go Kraken or we could go Divine. I think I'd rather have Divine, honestly. The 59% win rate Viego build. Third item, typically Death's Dance. Yeah, this is fine. We're really, 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 really strong. Loads of AD. Loads of Burst. Part of the issue going for Kraken on Viego is you need someone to pill for you, like a Lulu, Yumi, Karma, Soraka, something to keep you alive. Because if they dump all their CC on me at once, I can't survive. Like one Maokai, W into a QR, that's like two or three seconds of CC. With the Divine, it gives us an HP buffer plus some self healing that Kraken does not allow for. Q auto, we pull back because I knew he was going to do that. Auto W, auto R. Can we kill this Maokai? Nice. I have my uh, free R to use now again. We can dodge turret shot with our W. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh man, that was messy. That was really, really messy. Oh, I have free chimes to pick up, sick. How does this interact? Can I? Oh, I can pick them up. It's so cool. I love that. <laughs> I get to pick up chimes in Viego mode. I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, on Belveth, you have to press R over the dead opponent or the Rift Coral. On Viego, you just click on it. So <laughs> I, I clicked R one time. I was like, oh, wait, no, that's Belveth. I wasted my R. 
The Pokemon with their Q, make him use his Q to get to me. Now we run away with OP movement speed. We're faster than Yi inside of our thing. Like, he burned everything for that. I'm faster. If you're invisible inside of your E, you are faster. Auto Q. I messed up my stun big time. Got him with a Q there. Maokai's here though. He's blocking hard. I'm going to W away. Short term movements. Extra mobility. Alright, I need somebody. Somebody save me! Got him with an auto. Into a W auto Q. There we go. We get free Master E plus a free R now. We're full AD and we're winning this with superior positioning. Their team's not grouping the most effectively. Uh, I think this guy's dead if he stays. Yeah, he just backed off all the way. He knows what's coming for him. The Viego Train baby. He's got better resets than Katarina because he gets a full R reset plus three free abilities to use from whoever he goes inside. I have a chime to pick up over there. Nice. Can back for Death's Dance soon. Almost have enough juice for it. Auto W auto. Q auto. Just got to remember that your W, your E, and your R are all a source of mobility. All a source of mobility to keep the enemies within range of your auto attacks. So if you're already within range, you can just auto Q auto W auto Q auto. Then you can use your E speed up and you can use your R. You don't necessarily have to use it in that order, but you just don't necessarily want to have to use all your mobility at once. Especially if you can't one shot them. Hmm. Oh, Nyla. I thought that fight was over already. Auto W. I'll go inside that. Get him with the EWQ. Auto R. W Auto Q. It's probably game, honestly. A TP to the wrong minion. Auto W Auto Q Auto. Oh, I took another. T I messed up. I stood still to auto to heal. But the turrets were doing so much damage because they are heated up. They do basically triple damage after they fire three or four times on a champion. That was my bad. I shouldn't have stood still to auto there against the minion. We are up only one dragon on them. It's not ideal. Yeah, Bard only did 600 damage. The turret did 2,700. I only have 2,400 health. To top off your... Viego builds typically Black Cleaver if they're tanky. You can look for Randoons, you can look for Guardian Angel. I'm not a big fan of Collector necessarily. Like Crit Viego is viable, but I'm not really running a Crit Viego build. I would like to have... I still have a big shutdown, so I guess Guardian Angel would be pretty sick. I can position well enough though. That it's not easy for them to stay on me. If Maokai or Master you're going to dash forward... And I react fast enough and I'm on a speed up. It's hard for their teammates to keep up. Because we're moving 500 inside of E. Not including W dash range or R dash range. Let me go pick up this chime real quick. They're all kind of pushing up mid. Just looking to A ram it. I think we still win the A rams though. Whoa, it's still chasing me even when I'm invisible. That's a little crazy. Didn't this, ooh, missed. Missed upon missed. Hey, friend. Got with the W auto, Q auto. Get with the Q auto. Nice, nice, nice. I get to be barred now. I'll E on over. Speed myself up. Flash stun him. Auto R. Auto W. Auto Q auto. Please kill him. Yes, now I get... Wait. Why don't I get to go inside of him? <laughs> Was my... Had I not hit him recently enough? Within, that, within three seconds. Okay, so it must have been like three and a half seconds. Because I had recently hit that guy. 
Hit the turrets. We need to get more than just mid inhib. We need to get other things here. Very important. We do fall off. We have 4 and 10 top, 1 and 1 jungle, and a Zin Pao support. Let me take as much as we can get. Alright, cool. Triple inhib. We grab drag. Next team fight, they lose. We can pick up Baron as well off all these inhibs. Oh, I can't save him. That's too much. Uh, yeah, Mastery's gonna have a full stack lethal tempo with R resets. I don't want to deal with that. I believe it's R extensions actually for you. I think it extends his overall R duration, I'm pretty sure. Just like how you can with a ghost. Can't afford the rest of Black Cleaver, but I can sell D Blade and pick up a Kindle Engine, which is a little bit worth it. And the Lin Gym 800 item versus a 450 gold item. After Cleaver here, I think Guardian Angel would be best. Guardian Angel or... Hmm. Or even Shoujun. I wouldn't mind Shoujun at all. We won't run out of mana and I'd like to have my stun on Alora cooldown. Bard auto is kind of hurt, man. Did like 300 damage. Feels bad. <laughs> Just taking it right out of my mouth. Wow. I forgot that Nyla gives extra XP to nearby allies. That's an interesting bonus. Poke him with a Q and keep running. We want to force him to use his Q to get to us. W auto Q. Now we're inside. Use R to get on top. Stun auto Q. Oh, I'm too deep. I'm too deep. Pull me out. Maokai is extremely tanky. We need to take down these turrets. Who is that? Oh, it's Maokai. Oh, that didn't hit. Staying on top of him is kind of hard. Like, how do we even get to this guy? He teleports on through. We might just have to wait for Dragon. We're all going to die here if I stay. How am I going to stop that? Jack's played it well enough. I just can't do anything. My R's on cooldown. They have base speed up. They're all spawning in. We're just all going to keep inting again and again and again and again and again. And they're getting shut down gold. I'm not going in. We can just wait. Five man group. Jace didn't get the memo. I'll help myself to this. I'm still pretty far away from full build. I'm closer to level 18 than I am to full build right now. Can afford my cleaver at least. Yeah, I guess we reset for cleaver. We can play for Draxol. Team isn't grouping that hard, plus Jax is dead, so. Cleaver recall here is pretty solid. Shred on Maokai is ridiculously valuable, plus even the bard, his uh, dead man's extra armor. The only thing that really counters Viego is just a massive burst, I think. Something that can whack him down like a Vigar. Vigar is really challenging for Viego to deal with. Usually I ban Vigar. Or having to deal with like a Ramus or something. But I guess Ramus usually just go cracking. Got him with my stun, auto, Q, auto. Auto, Q. Ooh, we're inside now. Come on. Wait, I can't go inside. Do I die here? Oh my gosh, I was spamming so hard. <laughs> I was losing track of where I was and who I was there for a minute. Too much commotion. Oh yeah, look at that healing. 
Look at that juicy, juicy healing. That's all from Bork, really, plus red buff being out of combat with enemy champs. We need to just end. We have Baron and triple inhib. Why are we not ending? It makes no sense. Auto Q auto. We're trying to use Divine Sunderer here. I need to get out. It's not worth dying. <laughs> Bard flashed for it too. Easy. We got the inhib as well. I don't mind burning my arts. It's a pretty short cooldown since we have 75 ability haste, which equates to 43% lower cooldowns. This is Dragon Soul. The enemies think they're still in this game because they're farming up all these waves. Man, we're up three dragons on their one, plus soul. That is not an easy thing to beat. Hmm. It's tough for Master Yi to handle the Jax. It's AP Jax too, that's hilarious. I did a video on AP Jax. Riot made it viable a while back. Just don't see it very often. I don't know. <laughs> How are they gonna handle these minions, dude? I'm dropping the R. Bar just kind of ruined everything there. And that's it. That's a GG's well played. Look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Let's take a peek. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 49,000. Second highest seems to be Jace at 27. Nyla close behind him. It's interesting because Jace had many deaths, few kills. Nyla had many kills, few deaths. For damage taken, we were the most on our team, not quite the most in the game. For self mitigated, most on our team, not the most in the game at all. And for runes, high value. All in all, Viego mid lane is a sleeper pick. People just don't even think about him. They pretend like he's not there. Is one of the best 1v9 mid lane carries in the game, 100%. He can carry way harder than a Zed, way harder than a Talon, because he has huge resets and CC. Zed and Talon don't have stuns, and they don't have the resets, so Diego's nuts. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.